Hey there, welcome to the Lucid Mirror channel. Welcome to this. What is your sexual, compa excuse me, are you sexually compatible? <laughs> okay. Um, this is that. So we have Paul Green. Okay. We have Paul Greystone. Okay. Blue. Are you sexually compatible? It's pretty. I think that's a lapis. And Paul Pinkstone. And Powell's the train stone. I will see you in the description box. That's where the timestamps are. Then I will also see you in the comment section because you're going to leave me a cute comment. <laughs> Keep that on good luck and I'll see you in your pile. Are you sexually compatible? This is part of damn near every day. Love readings. Let's keep it moving. Hey there, pal Pink. Welcome to your reading. Are y'all sexually compatible? Let's get into it. Whoa. <laughs> um, baby, are you sexually compatible? You have the tower. You have the five, six, seven, eight of coins, and you have the page of wands in reverse. Yeah, it's highly likely that you are sexually compatible. And I think, oh my God, like. <laughs> <gasps> oh my God, I feel so uncomfortable. You know what I feel like? I feel like I've just walked in on the bride and groom. Like, I feel like I've just walked in on a couple. I feel like I've just, I'm in it and I did not ask to be, but like, I, I did. I'm in this reading. I did this reading. I'm doing this reading. Bah. Listen, Pau Pink. Bah. Girl, I call everybody girl. You two are so sexually compatible. And like, I don't know what this page of wands in reverse is giving. We'll get into that. But you two are so sexually compatible, it's giving, oh my god, like, I can't, I don't, I don't even know where to start, <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, like, I feel like you're both taken aback by how oh i feel so i feel so oh my god i feel like oh my god i feel so i can't be here i feel like you're so sexually compatible that you didn't even think i don't know if you didn't think you would be and you were just like going doing your thing and then you maybe like did the deed and what i'm seeing here are two people who they're having their own oh my god oh my god moments individually and then they look at each other and they can tell that each one is having an oh my god moment and the other is also having an oh my god moment and they're having their oh my god moment and there's no going back from that i mean maybe there is but like you're both like like you like this is scary like this is scary it's i'm scared i'm scared <laughs> i'm scared like this is almost too much it's too good and the tower is so strong here I don't know if it's you know on a mundane level maybe it's been a while for each of you um to have you know this to share this act with somebody but it really just kind of feels like there's a spiritual fuck like a spiritual fun fun a spiritual moment here where two souls have both been rubbing on electricity and they finally touched right that michelangelo painting i think of like god and man like the fingers outstretched and they maybe touch and it's like this is that moment when whatever was brewing between the two of you it 
This is sick! This is sick! May I be this pile at that time? <laughs> this is one of those sexual compatibilities that makes you lose your mind. Like it lo you lose your mind because this can't be real and it's real and I don't know, I'm scared and I'm excited and I want more but I'm so scared of it. Like this is like a come to Jesus, a come to Jesus moment. Bitch. You guys, what? It, I was not expecting this reading to go this deep at all. But the tower is very much giving Bella and Edward, I will burn the world for you. Like, the compatibility is crazy. It's crazy. I'm so like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is, is this normal? <laughs> I feel overwhelmed. I feel overwhelmed. What even is the Eight of Pentacles? I don't know if someone is so well practiced or what, right? Like it's so well practiced or not. But I really feel like this is mundane. Your sexual compatibility, like maybe your first time together is mundane. Let me know if you want me to do a first time reading. It's mundane. It's just normal. It's just basic. Like, maybe it's even a kiss. I don't know. I don't know what this is. But it's definitely not just a kiss. Like, there's a, there's a moment here. Um, oh, my God. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so jittery. I'm like, oh, that's so weird. This is like, be careful what you wish for. And then you get it. And you're like, oh, my God. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Um, it, ah, this is too, this is too much. I actually can't hold this energy in my body. So I need to, like, exclaim and, like, pound myself as in, like, my chest. Oh, my God. And like, I need to shake because I need to get this out of me. Like, this is too much. I have never in my life felt like this. This is crazy. This is so fucking crazy. Are you sexually compatible, simply bitch? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, mm -mm. I swear this better be like a, 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 a lifelong soulmate and not some F person because I can't. I can't imagine anybody, like, how do you move on from this? How do you move on from this energy? How do you move on from this if this is a person who's just passing by in life? The fuck? You just get changed like that? Rocked like that? And you just carry on with your life? No. This is the type of compatibility that fucking moves mountains, starts wars. This is that Odysseus stuff. This is that... Like in Helen of Troy stuff, launching a thousand ships in the name of a woman. This is that, like, no, no, baby. This is that Hercules diving into Hades to get your woman. Like, this is, this is that, like, I will do whatever I can, Bella, from Twilight to get my mans, okay? This is that love. Like, this is that stuff. And I am beside myself with, I don't even know what. I have, I can't. Eight of Pentacles would be giving, like, working hard at something. Someone is well-practiced, and it's good. There is sexual compatibility. So maybe someone here is well-practiced and is sexually compatible, but it's even more than that. It's almost like what happens because you're so sexually compatible that you both want to be well-practiced for each other. You both want to work hard to please the other. Like, you both want to be in that hole. Oh for each other because it's so it's good doesn't even begin to like stop good isn't even like it's so you people will be like people could be like yo like what do you mean like how was it and you're just you just glaze over you're just like good that's all you can say good and they're like well what was good about it and like you can't even explain it because it's not words it's Speaking of can't even explain, Mr. Can't Explain comes out. King of Swords in reverse, please. <laughs> he says I can't. Six of Wands. Okay, so clarifying the Page of Wands in reverse is the King of Swords in reverse and the Six of Wands. I don't know what to tell you. I, I just, I, this is beyond, I don't know. It's just beyond. Um, it's great. I love it. It's great. It
it is spiritual passion to me is such a spiritual energy um now pay attention to the red flags these are all sort of clarifying the page of wands in reverse there's something about the page of wands in reverse here i feel like with the king of swords it's the connection the compatibility is so good that it is scary okay it's scary um and the King of Swords to me, whenever I see the King of Swords in reverse or even just the King of Swords in a reading, it gives me a quiet person. So the sexual compatibility might be so good that someone actually like backs down. That some <laughs> that someone gets scared. And I read this before. I read this once on Instagram. Like people do get scared because it was so good. They're like, no, like that shit was scary. It was so good. Um, but yeah, I feel like someone kind of goes quiet because they're like my world just changed and i didn't sign up for that level of change and like what even is that what even is this like i mm -mm. i'm scared i don't know what to like i'm at a loss for words and action and the like because something felt so good pay attention to the red flags is interesting um, I want a little bit more on that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, children again. It's it's weird, right? The Page of Wands is also a kid, a child. And children is here also in the reverse. I don't know if this brings about the desire for children or... It's, it's scary to think about children. I feel like something about this sexual compatibility that's so like next level, there's no words to describe it. It makes one or both of you feel like you need to grow up, but weren't ready to grow up. There is a pushing away of this. I think this person may not, like, one or both of you may not have been, like, that. someone was not ready for this connection, bro. Someone was not ready. Because with calling your soulmate in the reverse, I almost feel like, I don't want to say it's someone that doesn't want you. It's It could be someone that doesn't want you to be their soulmate. Because maybe it's too soon. Or maybe they're not in the right place in life. Maybe they're still focused on work. Maybe they're still building their their bank role. Um, whatever that is. It just seems like... I don't it's like they've found it's it is a giant red flag like there's it's a giant flag it's a giant symbol I think this thing the compatibility between the two of you it gives rise to someone needing to grow up because once you feel something like this it's hard to go back from to like normal life and normal living because you can't look in this person's eyes the same way anymore after you've both realized that you both had this cataclysmic moment like there's no way you can you can be the same person but i don't think this person is fully ready it's almost like an uh-oh moment um but anyway in short are you compatible sexually yes yes he is um do you want guidance over this i'll give you some guidance because if this was me i'd be like what am i supposed to do about it i don't know if someone doesn't want kids someone is scared of having kids there's something there about actual children someone being like oh shit this wasn't who i was gonna think about having kids with or do i have kids now am i ready for kids or what if they have kids and I'm a bit scared about it? Or what if I have kids? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> What's the guidance for my pink stone rose quartz? Rose quartz would give me a wild pile like this. Bruh. Observer in protection. I like this. I like this for you. Card number 49. 
Um, 94. <sighs> okay. Ever think sometimes your life options are suction cup to your face and you can't see beyond yourself? There's a big world out there. A multitude of potential realities that you're unable to perceive at present. So you're a little stuck. It's time to get advice from someone you trust, someone who has better perspective on your circumstances. Other points of view are needed now before you move forward. Take heart. A beautiful vista is waiting for you to drink in it. You just need a little help widening your scope beyond your small self. So I think there is some fear here on both ends in some cases. But I mean, if this is somebody that you had a cataclysmic moment in terms of sexual compatibility, but it's someone that you didn't want to have that with, um, there is something to be said here about you may have had this moment, that, but that doesn't mean you may not have it again, right? I did share it. I did say that earlier, like, oh shit, like, you, how do you even move on from this? It is possible to move on from it and maybe even find something better now that you've been sort of opened and released in this way. So cool. Spirit's kind of being like, hey, your life options are not suction cup to your face. Like, you still have life, you still have choice, you still have you know, agency, you can still move around and whatever else the message of that card gave to you. I wish you everything. That was a wild reading. It took way longer than it really needed to, but I was freaking out. Um, keep it on good luck and I'll see you next time, my guy. I will be here tomorrow. You were here yesterday with me as well. Go watch that video. Go watch this video. Leave me a comment. Let the algorithm know that Luce is out here working busting ass to give us damn near daily readings. I would love that from you. And also I would love to see you in the membership. Um, cause when I go live, I do free readings and members get extra perks. So I will see you then. Keep it loud and good luck and I will see you next time. Bye. <clears throat> Hello, pal, Bluestone. Hey, pal, Bluestone. Are you sexually compatible? I mean, we all thinking it, you know, we all thinking it. Ew, let's find out. <laughs> Why not? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> One more card. <clears throat> so you have the world in reverse, the five of cups in reverse, the six of cups, and the four of swords. And this final card. <clears throat> wow. The ace of wands. <laughs> the ace of wands in the upright are you sexually compatible yes okay um i think you two like the same things i think you two have similarities in what you're into um and i think you two also want to grow together in your <sighs> bedroom adventures um you two have an openness i want to say to each other's whims and whimsy um you two are very considerate of each other in the bedroom um <clears throat> yeah you two are both very considerate in the bedroom trying to figure each other out or not trying to figure each other out but trying to like cater to the other trying to see if the other is having fun if the other is having a good time um trying to make sure that your partner is pleased that's like a mutual energy here that's shared between the two of you and it comes from maybe even a little bit of insecurity or just this desire to make sure your partner is doing good and your partner is enjoying your themselves it comes, it comes from like, yeah, that desire, but also a little bit of like insecurity um, of, oh, are they having fun? Am I good enough? Is this good enough? Uh, so it kind of feels like you two are holding each other to a certain pedestal or this is new, right? Like this is a very new uh, relationship and dynamic and you're both attracted to each other and you're both genuine with each. It's really sweet. It's giving, it's giving sweetness. Um, it's giving like a fair chance, but it's not really that, but like maybe it's been a minute since you both have felt something for someone that was mutual 
and you both want to cater to the other to make sure that the other is having fun and having a good time. It's, it's very sweet. <clears throat> um, <laughs> this is actually really sweet. <laughs> There's such a sweetness here. Five of Cups in reverse and the Six of Cups? What is going on? The only thing we're really missing here is uh, Pentes. Pentacles. The Four of Swords is interesting. It's giving me contemplation. I feel like you two have a past. One or both of you has a past where maybe you weren't that great in, in bad or maybe you weren't that sexually compatible with your partner and maybe you kind of wish that you had done things differently that you would have been different and you're trying to rectify your past stuff in this dynamic with this new person um i feel like a lot of a fair amount of effort is put in to this sexual compatibility um whether it comes from like making sure that you're well hydrated, making sure that, you know, you've done the things that you need to at the gym, making sure that you've rested well enough for the marathon of whatever this is going to be, if that, if it's even that, making sure that, you know, you're stretched, like you've done your stretches, maybe I don't know what you'd be doing, but you're doing something in preparation for the compatibility, you and or the person, right? I think... It's, I think it's shared energy. I think you're both putting an effort towards this dynamic. And um, <clears throat> it's kind of sweet. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I dig 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 it. Tell me more. Tell us more, Spirit. The sexual compatibility. Heart to heart conversations. Yeah. Um, that's actually really sweet. Maybe you two have talked about it, right? Maybe you two have more or less said, uh, one or both of you have said, oh, you know, in the past, this is what I was kind of used to. And uh, this is what I would have liked. Or maybe someone said, oh, I've had this. And someone said, have you never had this before? And they're like, no, not really. And then that person goes, bet, I want to make that happen for you um something like that like it's a really beautiful like I want to please you and I do believe it's mutual um that's really sweet because heart to heart conversations is a heart to heart you can't just have a heart conversation that's one heart heart to heart means two hearts having a conversation honestly discuss your feelings with each other I think this is this is so sweet this is giving really like new newborn new energies and I really really dig it um so uh I want to do a guidance for you. Because every little thing she does is magic. Please stop. Uh, my cord! Okay, Yang and round and round fell on the ground. I'm going to see where this falls. Yeah, I'm glad that it fell in the upright because... Uh, this is giving some past stuff at the bottom of the the romance angels deck was like past life relationship when I was shuffling um and I feel like they're they're ready to be over the past and 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 really like get a redo do things over and do things well taking action you or them and that's a beautiful thing with the yang here um it's about doing the thing taking the action doing what you need to do on the peripherals to help you be ready for this compatibility. I think you guys are beautifully compatible and there's room to grow here and that's really important. There's room to grow here and you don't want to re redo the mistakes of the past or the, the bad stuff of the past. Now for some of you, I'm saying this is a new person, this feels like a new connection, but this could also be for some of you, I mean enough messages have come out here for me to say it, it could be an old person coming back. Now, old person could be someone you've fraternized with before. Cool. Um, it could be someone that you knew once upon a time, a long time ago, and now they're maybe more ready for uh, whatever between the two of you. And, you know, you're now redoing what you guys did, but you're now doing it better. There's more consideration for the other. There's, 
you know, a little bit more care for the other from from each. So that's kind of cute. Uh, I dig it. And this is what I have for you. I'll see you next time. I was here yesterday. Are you going to be here yesterday? <laughs> check yesterday's video. Check tomorrow's video. I am here. Please consider becoming a member of the channel. A little bit of what you give to the channel um, comes from your world. And I appreciate that. And I give perks to members when I go live. Um, also, there's like pre previews to videos. You get them first for a bit. And sometimes uh, exclusive videos in the membership as well. So I wish you a thing. Keep it light on and good look. Bye bye. Hello, Citrine. 1738. Yeah. Are you sexually compatible with this person? Are you? <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Say what's up. Hello. Damn. What is happening? <laughs> Listen, Citrine, we need to talk, baby. Do you see what cards came out? Do you see what cards came out? Swords, all swords. Strength, all swords. All swords. Citrine, we need to stop. We need to talk. We need to have a sit down. Five of swords. Eight of swords in reverse. Queen of swords. Baby girl. I call everybody girl. <laughs> what y'all getting up to? <laughs> what y'all getting up to? You are sexually compatible. This is giving submit dominate. Okay. Um, this is very much giving submit dominate. You two are very compatible. This is swords. This is giving Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is giving air signs, mixing with air signs in a way that you two can cerebrally, really, really understand each other. I wasn't even going to say that. But yeah, I think you two could be, you know, sapiosexual. Your conversations and your connection, I'm not going to say transcends the body and the physical. But there is a connection there and how you two share ideas, the ideas that you have, the values that you have. And there's more compatibility Um and perhaps those communication styles, but also how you communicate with your bodies. With your bodies. This is very much giving a lot of communication. And I, the only time I can see people communicating, communication of the verbal nature having to be a thing that comes up in a sexual nature is when it gets into like submission and domination type stuff. Safe words and, and the like. Um, and it doesn't even have to have, like, I mean, safe words are a key, but it, it really could just have this, um, it really just has this air of you two are sexually compatible and that you fit in what you desire. And if someone wants to be submissive in bed, the other wants to be more dominant. If someone wants to be more dominant in bed, the other wants to be more submissive. However that goes. Queen of Swords <laughs> could be Queen of Swords does give me both, honestly. Like there could be some switch energy here. Okay, cool. Um, but Queen of Swords really does give me both. Like Queen of Swords to me feels like she could be the very submissive. Queen of Cups to me seems she could be very dominant in the bedroom. I know it's weird. Queen of Cups would definitely be the su submissive as well, but Queen of Cups, definitely when I see her in my head, I can see her just dominating in the bedroom. Um, and I can see the Queen of Swords for sure being submissive in the bedroom. Um, because she rules so much out there in the world, why not to give the girl a break and have someone else be dominant elsewhere and please her as opposed to her doing all the things out there in the world. And I can also see her being very dominatrix for sure. It's a Queen of Swords. Hello, that sword is a whip, okay? Um, Five of Swords is very dominant. That's such a dominant energy. It's an energy that loves to make others submit, bow down to me, do for me. Um, so, yeah. And the Eight of Swords in reverse is, I suppose, giving switch. Like, I don't know. Um, it's, it's just, it's, it's Eight of Swords in reverse. There's a sense of freedom. I mean, she's got ties on her. Please, like, in what world is this not submission and domination? Like, stop it. 
Um, it's giving freedom in the structure of a formatted love sexual dynamic. That's what it's giving. Um, tell me more, Spirit. Tell us more about the sexual compatibility here. Citrine, do you know that I was here yesterday and I'm going to be here tomorrow and that you should subscribe, hit the bell, and click all notifications so you get notified when I go live and post a new video so that you're there? <laughs> Did you know that? This is part of damn near everyday readings, love readings. Primarily focusing on romantic love because why the fuck not? In fact, only focusing on romantic love, like we're getting in there. Uh huh. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. So I'm doing a reading damn near every day. So if you're into that, good, good. Check out the playlist. Check out the spot. We out you. Um, new love in the protection in the reverse. Forgiving, and learning in the reverse. Love yourself first in the reverse. It feels like people coming out of their shell here. It feels like people accepting their kinks, their shame, their guilt, their pleasure. Um, it feels like people submitting to their desires and going for it. It feels like pleasing yourself through the act of pleasing another and pleasing yourself coming from pleasing another pleasing yourself by being pleased by another and that's my kind of ouroboros <laughs> if you gotta ask that's my kind of ouroboros gift that keeps on giving baby what's your guidance with this I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. All that glitters in the reverse. We're getting 91, we're getting 16. We're giving shiny. Ha ha ha. This is a signal to walk away from what you're contemplating. There is a thin veneer of glitter and sparkle that masks something rotten underneath. Pursuing it will only bring about a difficult situation you will be sorry you got yourself into. Stay away. Isn't it wonderful how spirit protects you? Better things await. So you may be sexually compatible, but spirit might be saying, I'm skirt. <laughs> Pause. Reverse. Rewind. That could be something for someone. What I'm also getting when I see the all that glitters is gold, it really just talks about facade. How one thing presents isn't necessarily how it is. <laughs> That's pretty much what all that glitters is, except it definitely has more that negative tone of like, oh, something looks shiny, something looks like it's what you want, but actually it's not. Run, especially in the, especially in the reverse. Um, but, you know, I think for some of you, there is a story here where you might see somebody and you think a certain way about them, but if this sounded like what you are into, what you like, what you might be interested in, um, and you're looking at this person, you're like, Luz, that's what I want, but not this person, I don't think so. You may be pleasantly surprised. They may not look like the person that would kind of be into that, but they might be able to do it the way you really wanted to. But also the guidance in the card is kind of like, hey, reverse, rewind, get out of here. So. Use that for how you're gonna use it. I like you. I'll see you tomorrow. See you in the comments. Let me know how this was. And uh, keep your light on and good luck. Bye bye. <laughs> what up, Pop Green? What up, Pop Green? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, Pop Green? Green. Baby. Baby girl. I call everybody girl. What is the sexual compatibility between the two of y'all? Or three. I don't know what you got going on. Look, three of three of cups. <laughs> when I tell you spirit lives in the house of Lemire, I mean, spirit is the prime citizen of the loose Lemire house. The house of Lemire. Okay. 
I'm like, hey, Earth Tribe, hello. <laughs> I feel like this is an outbreak even, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm not gonna even pretend, but it keeps giving me the upright. I'll tell you what, spirit lives in the house of Lumiere. Spirit rules the illumination. <sighs> you have the four of swords being funny. The king of cups and the three of cups listen paul green everybody's sexually compatible today <laughs> okay um yeah uh listen you are sexually compatible quite quite sexually compatible this is someone that likes to please this is someone who can feel when your body does something you may not even have to say nothing in fact <laughs> both of you can just tell what the other needs you can feel what the other needs and wants before they even say it before they indicate it you just know they just know <laughs> greenstone you would heart chakra and shit the connection is real you know, you just know. You just know. You can just feel it. You can just feel it. They can just feel it. Three of Cups, King of Cups, Four of Swords. You just gotta lay there. <laughs> like someone, someone can just lay there and the person will just know what to do, know where to touch, know where to feel. I don't know what this Three of Cups is. This person could be a friend. This person could be someone who's really connected. You or this person could be people, persons who are really connected and in tune and have a excuse me a keen feeling of perception for people and their vibes and what they want and their bodies and the fluids that are flowing from them someone here is is known like someone here is is uh intuitive in the bedroom i keep saying that in many different ways but someone here is like i don't i i what i'm reluctant to say is well practiced someone here could be well practiced right one or both of you could be well practiced but this is more so not so much practiced in like i don't know not necessarily practiced in the act sure maybe but practiced in being in tune with people and so there's a curiosity that they have about people that helps them in this way because they go, what does this button do? What happens if I touch here? What happens if I squeeze here? What happens if I lick here? What happens if I caress here? What happens if I pinch here? What happens if I slap here? What happens if I, I don't know, whatever it is, right? They have just such a keen sense of seeing somebody, seeing someone in their with their clothes on, with their how they are presenting in the world and kind of go, I bet this person would really like X, Y, and Z. <laughs> Ew, I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Um, there could be libations here involved, right? Um, some type of beverages. Um, that you both sort of partake in. I mean, someone could be really well practiced or just old in the game or hip to the game or just keenly aware of like their partner's needs and wanting to please the partner i don't know i keep getting that but they're yeah like just lay down just lay down like i'll do the work i want to do it for you i want to do it to you meanwhile you are like no nah, i, I want to do something i want to do something I'm like yeah you do but at the end of the day like their pleasure comes from pleasing maybe I just don't know what the Three of Cups is about. What is the Three of Cups? Let's talk, let's talk. I want to know more about the Three of Cups, rather. I want to know more about the Three of Cups. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. The death. Oh, yeah, la petite mort. Okay. <laughs> there are all gathers happening here. 
um, yeah, le petit mot, right? Um, if if you or someone you know, <laughs> no, if you or one of you has trouble reaching the big O, big O, 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 big O, O, O. There was a show. It was an anime called Big O. <laughs> Like, why? <laughs> Somebody type that in the comments. Somebody type in big O. <laughs> I enjoy my own company. <clears throat> Are you there, Paul Green? Am I alone? Am I giggling with myself to myself? Mm. I wouldn't be the first time. The Four of Pentacles to me kind of feels like someone maybe hasn't felt a release or hasn't felt a release in a long time um or releases are painful or something like that and i feel like the compatibility here is this person or you or both of you are really keen on giving that release right le petit amour the death it's 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 giving ah you know <laughs> It's giving climax. Um, and the King of Cups is giving cheers. Of course I did. <laughs> like, of course I did. Of course that happened. Um, there's an emotional connection here. Emotional foreplay. Um, this person is, I guess, well practiced. But it's practiced in the art of outside the bedroom that enhances the inside the bedroom it's it's crazy like this person's eyes dig into yo it's intense this person's eyes dig into you and they try to understand you and they try to size you up and like look you up and down and when you're not looking you know when you're talking or jibber jabbering or whatever they're trying to assess you and see what buttons they could probably push what they would like to do to you what they would like to do for you that you don't even know about um it truly is giving just lay there let me take care of you i've got this Ooh, <laughs> i don't know if you like that but I, I, I dig it is it safe for it is safe for you to love is it safe for you to love yeah i think this is uncomfortable for you i was gonna say this of literally it's not you out here high five bop, 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 bop. come through baby the four of swords was giving no i want to do i want to pray i want to do i want to also you know and that's fine you can do that but i really feel like there is something here about just lay down like i've got you like just relax something like that obviously you know you can participate four of swords in the reverse but it's safe for you to love is it safe for you to love it's this thing of like is it okay for me to just enjoy is it okay for me to just lay here is it okay for me to just be catered to um and it is safe for you to love. So, like, that's the type of compatibility here that's, like, uncomfortable for you because you're used to sort of, like, pulling your own weight. Um, and you still will, right? But it's this compatibility here where this person really takes pleasure in being and doing and caressing and do, 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 do their partner. So, it's almost like open your heart. To give and receive the highest energy of all. Talk about le petit mort. Talk about the big O. Oh. It's safe for you to experience that. If you haven't. Um, at least with this person. It's looking like it would be. You know something that you could really. Quite possibly experience. Especially once you let go. Of your jibber jabber thoughts in your head. And. Um, <sighs> relax. Once you relax, you will, your body will be able to release. And we'll be talking about another big O. Big O, 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 big O. Let's see what your guidance is though. Okay, you are capable. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, we have new life and protection. It's kind of scary, but you're going to be fine. Um, Okay, so big O, excuse me, Treasure Island is a nine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The relationship message of Treasure Island is your relationship is a treasure, providing even more than you need. But you may not see that right now. 
No matter how long you've been together, you and your partner are always discovering hidden gems about yourselves and each other. Now is the time of discovery. It's as if everything is in sync and everything is new again. Romance blooms and love is in the air. You can be assured that this partnership will bring you great gifts and valuable lessons. Keep your heart open. The message of this card is to celebrate love and what it teaches you. A new life is about an experience. Green, I was here yesterday and I'm here tomorrow. Keep me company. Leave me a comment. Big O, big O, big O. Um, if you'd like to join the membership, take a look at it. See if it's something that you like. When I go live, um, it, 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 I do free readings. But also, when I go live, I'm able to, um, read for the community. So a little bit of what makes your world go round. Um... <laughs> Oh, is uh is contributing to the community because people get the readings that they wouldn't otherwise get the messages they wouldn't otherwise get that's because of the members like you because they allow me to go live all right anyway i wish you everything keep it out and good luck and i will see you next time tomorrow bye what up gray stone oh the honor of gray skull are you sexually compatible? <laughs> Are you sexually compatible? Are you sexually compatible? <laughs> okay. Are you sexually compatible? Are you sexually compatible? We have the magician. We have the strength in reverse. <laughs> oh, and we have the eight of swords. My goodness, listen. <laughs> And we have the tower at the bottom of the deck. The ace of wands in reverse. Interesting. The lovers. The four of coins in the reverse. All right, cool. Um, listen, Greystone. I've been doing this damn near every day. And it's a lot. Okay. I'm, I go a little bit cuckoo. Keep it cute. <laughs> Um, this is telling me that you or this person had manifested a, the relationship, a certain kind of sexual relationship, or would have liked to experience certain kind of sexual something, um, in your sexual life. And when it came, you didn't know how to act. <laughs> like, you or them didn't know how to act. Like, <laughs> when it comes, y'all don't know how to act. When it comes, y'all don't know how to act. Y'all just don't. <laughs> Eight of Swords is giving I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I stutter energy of I wanted this, I got it, but now I I I I I I I don't know how to act. Um, respectfully. The strength in reverse and the eight of swords to me feels like right on a serious note <laughs> everything I said was true but on a serious note this this energy is giving me vibes of I want it I wanted it I got it and I don't know what to do with it now that it's here. Not to say that I'm scared. I'm just stuck because I don't know how to go from what I had, what I was, what I'm used to, what I've been, to being what I wanted. Being who I need to be to get what I want. What I want is here, but I don't know how to be who I need to be to, to enjoy it. Because I like actually seeing the strength in reverse here. I like it. In that it's primal energy. If you can't be primal in the bedroom, where are you going to be primal at? You know, if you can't be wild in the animal, where are you going to be wild in the animal at? 
<laughs> I do enjoy my own company, Greystone. Um, but even then, with the strength and the upright, that would have been balance, right? Being able to balance and find that middle ground between um, who I've been and who I want to be and finding that sort of passage there. With the strength, it's also given vulnerability. Eight of Swords, vulnerability and fear. It's scary and it's maybe scary to have um, experience and share yourself with someone here. I'm not sure if this is the pile where people are celibate, where people are have been waiting, you know, all their life to be with somebody and you're wondering how, you know, if you are sexually compatible. Um, and so there is that hindrance between who you've been and how you've had to be to maintain that and who this, what this person and this opportunity is bringing. And having to reconcile, letting go of the identity you've had for so long and embracing this new identity of someone who's, you know, sexually active and enjoying the act and being in the act and, and loving the act for what it is. So let's get in a little bit more information on, on this. Um, are you sexually compatible? The answer is yes here, right? But it's, it's more than yes. It's, it's. It's giving, are you ready for it? As opposed to, are you sexually compatible? I think, are you sexually compatible? Yes. Okay, are you ready for it? That's something that you need to figure out. But being a reader, I can see that you're kind of not. If I'm talking to the person that I'm talking to. True love and honeymoon. This is what a honeymoon is for, you know? Getting to know each other. Getting to, you know, explore each other. Explore yourself. Feel what you gotta feel. Blah, blah, blah. Enjoying the bliss of time together. I think with this one, if I am talking to the people that I'm talking to who've been celibate or are waiting for a relationship to be serious or waiting for marriage, whatever, if I'm talking to my like my virgin pal, whatever, this is an energy of like just enjoy the time with this person. Don't rush, like don't rush yourself, don't push yourself. Excuse me, don't jinx yourself. This is the romance of a lifetime. This is somebody who, yes, you are going to be compatible with and what you manifested can come into fruition here. Just keep fighting the good fight, whatever that fight looks like to you and allow yourself to bridge the gap between what you were and what you've been wanting. Three swords and the hangman in reverse. Um, yeah. I, I really do feel like the barrier here in this pile is self. Self-identification, the past even, right? If you've been hurt before, if you've been violated by someone before sexually, big hugs to you. Um, <clears throat> definitely. And there's just some hurts. There's some pain. There's some doubts. There's some worries. There's some heartbreak. There's some, what if this person doesn't like me? What if they don't accept me? What if, what if, what if? And all those are very valid thoughts. But I think with the hanged man here, it's almost saying you don't have to be here. You don't have to think of this stuff. You don't have to be a martyr to who you've been. You can choose to live differently. And that starts with you allowing yourself to live differently. I don't know who I'm talking to here, but I'm going to pull some guidance for this pile and see. Imagine, absolutely. fucking -lutely. You can be who you want. Keep trusting in your magician energy. You called this connection into being. You called this reality into being. Don't psych yourself out from it. Don't psych yourself out from it. Don't psych yourself out from it. Keep believing, keep imagining, keep dreaming for what it is that you want as a person. Keep going for what you want and the rest will follow, right? And, and keep now, you know, calling yourself and seeing yourself as brave, as bold, as strong, as um, capable. And it'll happen. I'm going to pull more guidance for you, okay? Yeah. This is that hangman in reverse. It's like, stop. Never ending story. So 
Sometimes your heart enters into a contract with another that results in pain, not because of abuse or, igne- or neglect, but for other more complex reasons. Shame, fear of intimacy, and low self-esteem are the greatest challenges to the success of a relationship. Come through. Spirit lives in the house of Lumiere. Spirit is an illumination, and there is something here about pain, shame, guilt, and being who you were, how you've identified, and how you think you have to be or how you want to be in this new dynamic here. Shame, fear of intimacy, and low self-esteem are the greatest challenges to the success of a relationship. Consider how valuable this knowledge is, however. Right now, you have an opportunity for important healing. Three of Swords. But you must reflect on the stories you weave about love, connection, abandonment, rejection, and loneliness. Not only do you need to begin a new story, you need to forgive yourself for telling yourself the old ones! Have compassion for the part of you that believes all those narratives. Okay? Have compassion for that part of you. That part of you was, you know, protecting you or keeping you company or validating you. And now it's time for something new. And it's time to start rebuilding and building a new you. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Your greatest challenge is going to be just managing and handling yourself. Okay? Um, I wish you everything. I really do. I, I hope you got what you needed from this reading. You will get what you want. You will get what you want. You will get what you want. You're manifesting it. It's just, you know... It's time to pay the piper and part of paying the piper for you, a big part of it is going to be seeing yourself as someone who can enjoy what you've procured for yourself, what you've manifested for yourself. Congratulations on what you've manifested. You can manifest yourself to be in a position to enjoy it too. Okay. And also you're not alone in this partnership. You can always talk to your partner and just let them know hey, you know, I want to go slower or can we do this in this way and in that way and build from there. So um, I wish you everything. I was here yesterday. I'm going to be here tomorrow. So I'm going to see you right when I hang out. Yes. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, please feel free to do so. Check out the perks. That means when you subscribe, you hit the notification bell all notifications when I go live so you don't miss your blessing when I do free readings. And as a member of the channel, you get extra perks when I go live, depending on the live, but like 80% of the lives have member perks. Uh, Members also get access to the videos earlier sometimes and some uh, videos that are only available for members here and there, as well as the monthly polls for where I pull my monthlies. You guys step into my life, which is super awkward for me, but it is what it is. Um, (laughs) And then we go from there. Okay. Okay. Say what's up, hello. I'll see you next time, Greystone. I'm really proud of you. Keep your line on good luck. Bye-bye.